Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a little bit of a different location. I'm in my mom's room right now and I'm in South Carolina visiting my mom and I wanted to give you guys an updated makeup routine because you've been asking. I have completely changed my routine and I love the way my makeup looks. So this is my little tutorial. Here we go. <laughs> So first I start off with primer. This is the e.l.f. primer and I just want to add that I am not super good at makeup. I don't really know what I'm doing but there's no right way to do makeup. Whatever works for you works and if you like your own makeup then do it how you want. Prime the face and then I usually start with my eyebrows. I'm gonna turn you this way a little so I can get in this mirror. Brush out my eyebrows and then I just fill them in with this pencil, which really needs sharpened. I wonder if my mom has a little sharpener somewhere. Well, maybe not. All right, we are gonna work with the dull pencil. <laughs> These aren't gonna look the best because this really, really needs sharpened. But I already have pretty thick eyebrows, so I don't really need to do much to them. I take my beauty blender, I take foundation, and this is how I do it. I just put the foundation right on my face. Oh wow, I'm like almost out. But, um, so this is CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation, and I, it's in the color L90. It's been working for me, I like it. Don't know much about foundation, but it works, so here we are. <laughs> Oh no, I just got it in my eyebrow. Well, you know, it'd just be like that. This mirror is like really awkward to do my makeup in, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This mirror is just like so zoomed in for no reason. Okay, well I think that's all blended out. It's kind of hard to see in this mirror. Uh, then I go in with concealer, and I'm using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. And that's like my base. So then I go in, and I need more like a loose powder. I don't really like this. How do you say this? Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is what I've been using but i think i need something else so let me know your recommendations because it's not like a loose powder so i literally just like scrape it up and then like dip my beauty blender in it <laughs> um but i put this under my eyes as well as like down my nose right up in here and then right down there so while that is sitting i take i'm using this wet and wild um contouring palette and I do this. Right under my cheekbone, and then my jawline, and then my forehead. Just add a little bit of glow. I wonder if I could use literally this powder instead. Never thought of that. I feel like I could. Okay, so then I just take a little bit of powder and like kind of carve out right here. Get that, you know, nice cheekbone structure going. Um, and then I take this big brush, dip it in the powder. I kind of just put it all over my face. I always got that in my eye. I'll talk about it later. Just helping blend everything out. I like this makeup routine because it looks better than my old makeup routine, but it's still pretty quick, which is nice. And then I'm just gonna really blend out the powder down here. All right, that looks pretty solid. Then I take blush. Madison Miller is what the blush is called. I don't really know. I got this in an Ipsy bag one time. I have like stuff all in my eyes. So blush, I just do all right here. And I really like blush. So I just, I go at it with the blush. And then I put it on my nose too. And there we go. Now for my eyes. So unless I'm doing an eyeshadow look, which I don't do as often, I literally just take this Hoola Benefit bronzer and I use it as my eyeshadow. A little bit of color, but really it's just a more natural look, which is what I like most of the time, unless I'm like going out or something. And since I'm already done with all my face, I just take this little guy and put it on my lips. I don't really like lipstick or anything, but I have like foundation and stuff, so. So 
I put it on very lightly and then by the time I'm done doing my makeup, it's kind of like faded off and I'm cool with that, but that's about it. So I do my winged eyeliner pretty much every day and this is like the biggest thing that people ask for a tutorial on, but everyone's eyes are different, so this is just how I do mine. I always use, so this, this is the eyeliner I use. And I always do like an angled, where it's like really sharp like this, which I think this eyeliner is almost almost out actually, so I need to get more. All right, we'll zoom in here, see if I can do this in the, the viewfinder. What I do, first I start with just doing the inside of both my eyes. So I always have to pull out my eye, that's the only way I can get like a nice straight line. But just do the eyelid first. Don't even think about the wings yet. And that's like our base to the other eye. Now is where it gets difficult. So I kind of just like send it on the angle. And then I just build off of that. I don't even know how to explain. Just watch, I guess. Here, I need to use this mirror. So there's like a simple eye. Sometimes I make it go out further, but just for like a chill day, this is what I'm going for. I kind of made a mess with this eye, but we'll talk about it later. This eye is always so much more difficult for some reason. So I start, how do I explain? I go on the bottom of my eye and then just like drag until there's a nice angle. And then I kind of connect it to the top. And they never look perfect and they're never identical. They are not twins. They're not even really sisters, they're like cousins. But that is how I do my eyeliner. Then I just go in and I curl my eyelashes. I curl my eyelashes before mascara and then after my mascara dries, I curl them again and it makes them like pop. This is the mascara I use. It's actually a burgundy mascara. I just feel like it makes my eyes pop and brings out the color more because I have like kind of like hazel eyes. I don't even know, they change colors in the sun. So when I use like a burgundy color or I do my eyeshadow more like burgundy, orange, purple, then they like really pop with more of some like greens and golds in it rather than just brown. So. And there we go. There's my everyday makeup. I like a very like natural look, which is why I like this because it just, it looks pretty natural, you know? I love doing the winged eyeliner and I need to brush out my eyebrows again. So there you have it. There's how I do my makeup every day. I hope this maybe helped somehow or some way, but you guys have been asking for it. So there is my updated makeup everyday routine. Um, let me know if you guys want an updated like skincare routine or morning routine or something like that. I love filming those kind of videos. So this is the first time my makeup routine has changed since I was like 14. So I was pretty excited to show you guys. Oh, I forgot. I do have a... Um, what is this called? Setting spray. There we go. And now we are ready for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see while I'm in South Carolina with my mom. I know we're doing like a aesthetic swap video. We're going to be going to Savannah one day. We might go to Charleston. We're going to go to the beach one day. So we've got lots of fun things planned and I'm going to be vlogging a lot. But just let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. My